What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Domina. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we take Attack Vector to speed up all of our, I almost said Vikings, as we attempt to speed up all of our Gladiator's attack stat and make them faster. I'm gonna buy a little bit more wine, and let me see if I can just keep creeping him towards the edge. Because most of the time it seems like we get the Legate. If we continue to get the Legate like every single time, I'm just gonna stop working on the Magistrate and just focus on the Legate. Uh, that might be a quirk in the game at the moment. I don't really know. It's a 1v1. And it's for the Legate. One Gladiator versus one Gladiator. His stats don't appear to be that terrifying. So I'm going to send in Polio. The virus that he is. Polio the virus. That would be his nickname when he enters the arena. Polio the virus. Versus Vip Stannis the punk. Can you tell the fight is stacked in my favor right now? Ooh, lopped his damn head off, man. Polio, have a, have a little bit of mercy. Have some heart, man. Give him a chance to surrender, but you were just like, yoink, off with his dome. Jesus. Jesus. Well, let's keep you upgrading then. I mean, if I can afford to do it, I can afford to do it. When things are good, things are good. So let's keep his gear all nice and stacked up. For some of my secondary champions, we're going to do the same thing. And in fact, I just want his shield to level up a little bit. The rest of it I can live with. I just want him to have a little bit better of a shield. His armor's kind of rinky-dink. He's in Heroic Spartan Mail right now. Abel's armor will bump him up to plus 45 on his defensive tracker, which is just like, oh, crazy good. Uh, Ludus, grant him his freedom. Grant him his Freedom. Freedom. I have the worst hiccups ever right now. I'm trying to fight them all the way through this episode. Hiccups are just like banging on me right now. Just like bang, 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 banging on fools. All right. Some quality casts so I can get some more wine every single day. Is it over? All I want is for it to be over. One of the magistrate's daughters is to be married. She wishes to hold an exhibition game for entertainment, but the magistrate confides that he is light on coin. Lend your gladiators free of charge. Uh, the Magistrate and his family are well pleased. The exhibition match is well received. And we actually need every enchance we can get to get him creeped up because his morale is a little bit lower than I like it to be. Although it looks like all my fights are coming from the Legate, so why worry about it? In all fairness, the Legate's still not feeding me super stacked fights yet. I keep hoping he will, but he hasn't done it. Now, aim defense is up next. So that'll hopefully be done by the next time we get a fight in there. Doctor's helping out with healing, so that should go pretty quickly. How are your stats all looking? Your stats are looking glorious. They're looking very nice. Uh, your stats are coming along too, although you've only won a single fight. Uh, you, sir, do you have any victories? You have no victories whatsoever, and so you're just kind of training it up right now. Although it is working. Like, his weapon levels and whatnot are going up. He's getting better, so why concern yourself with it? Uh, if the Medicus is just sitting around doing nothing, go ahead and give us hand washing, which, yeah, I want you to wash your hands before you... Absolutely. Before you start digging around inside of me, I want you to wash your hands. Bare minimum courtesy. Uh, we can check the pit fights out, see what's going on with that. I figure all the gladiators we're selling anyways will offset the price. Oh, uh, we've got Dioscorides, who is a Red Yarius. I'm worried about that net. I've lost too many gladiators to that net so far. That net is just nasty if he decides to press the attack. That's how I play my Red Yariuses too. My Red Yarii is if you throw a net on somebody, you just go in on them as fast and as hard as you can before they can get out, and you just eat them alive. It's super hardcore and ugly. It is not fun at all for the person trying to get around it. Give me some polearm defense so that I take less damage from polearms. Start working our way up the tech tree a little bit here. That dude's digging a coal pit. We got a fight coming up in one day. Should be good. Uh, we've got Fanius. So our dear friend from our last playthrough, Fanius, is wanting to face off against us. I'm going to say that putting Polio in is probably our best option, just because he's got similar stats. In fact, he's got him beat in agility, and he's got him beat in defense as well. I don't play that turtly, though, so I don't know if the extra defense points are actually going to matter. Either way, Fanius, I will meet you on the opposite side of the field, and we will do battle together today. Let it be a glorious display for the Emperor. Got him. Off with Phaneas' arm. Defeated. Got him. Got him. Got him. Couple of slaves in there, and then we got a weapon train speed up. 
Not a bad plan either if I can actually mash that onto somebody to give them an advantage when they're trying to weapon speed train. Let's go with our healing. Hopefully it goes a little bit faster now that we've had the doctor level up like two or three different... Oh, he's done with that. Good. Uh, give me friendship magistrate bribes? The vintner's relationship with the magistrate allows your bribes to be more effective. Okay, it says for the legate, but I think it means for the magistrate. Go ahead and keep stocking me up with wine. I will never turn down free wine. Look and see if there's a pit fight that's winnable. Uh, Platus might be defeatable. Kind of depends. I can't see his stats right now, so that's what's got me a little bit worried. If I could see his stats, I'd feel better about it, but... Maybe we'll reject that. He's got pretty decent gear, so I've got to assume that he's actually a fighter. I bet Polio could take him, but everybody else I'm slightly worried about. Let's dig some hot coal pits so that they weapon train a little bit faster. His weapon training. The Magistrate's wife is reported missing. Will you lend your guards to help find her? Uh, yes. Guards never find the woman. She emerges from a brothel several days later in a drunken stupor, announces that she favors women and would leave the Magistrate, only that he is so poorly endowed that it's almost as if he were a woman anyways. The Magistrate appreciates your support nonetheless. Jesus, man, she went in on him. She didn't hold back. I'm thinking there's some unresolved relationship issues here. That and like a, a patriarchal society that won't let you leave or something like that. I don't know. Either way, there's some kind of trouble brewing, all right? I don't want to have to be the one to say it, but it looks ugly. Yeah, I'll send in Lucius. He's not that strong, but maybe this guy's not that hardcore. Who knows? He's only got 138 health. That's like three taps from a decent weapon. Ah, he went straight through our shield, but I just mashed attack, and it appears to have... The, uh, the Mermelos struggle with that. If you just spam attack on a Mermelo, they tend to have problems dealing with it just because their parry ability is really terrible. Whereas somebody with a shield would hunker down and wait for you to get done. Uh, the For the Mermelo, that's... Mermelos are only a mess if you can get somebody cornered or if you can get somebody who's fighting somebody else and backstab them D&D rogue style. We've got nine days till our next fight. No Jupiter's Blessings available. I. Jupiter's Blessings. It's probably possible that we could do one of the championship games, but I'm going to wait till I have people at much higher levels before I do that. He's agility training. His coal pit has been dug. Continue digging coal pits. Uh, for you, sir, now that we got a little bit of cash, I'm going to take you up to level three on everything. Just so we actually have like a retinue of gladiators now that are ready to fight. I would love to get some fights that allow me to spread the love around a little bit and fight like, you know, 4v4 or something like that. But some of these fights are just seeming... Not to be my jam. He's got a basic comma. Just based on his weapon, sometimes you can tell how strong somebody is. And a basic comma will be hitting you for over 80 a swing, which means that there's very, very little tolerance uh, for stuff to go right there. We have a couple of days left. Training is going well on all of our main guys. Okay, looking at everybody's stats and just kind of panning and scanning through. Trying to see what they have going on. Movement speed is normally good. I'm going to upgrade him to a basic comma. Upgrade you to a basic comma as well. Just so I got a couple of people. I mean, just so everybody I have has a really good thing. Uh, we could do evasive roll next. Deep breathing is not terrible either. If you're trying to get some HP back in the middle of a fight, it saved me before. It saved me a couple of times, in fact. We're going to go ahead and sell some of these dudes. We'll actually free the next batch. Uh, this guy is crazy stacked. Yeah, send in uh, polio, I guess. We gotta hope that net doesn't connect, though. If that net connects, we're just gonna be in a world of shit and we're gonna lose our best guy. Ooh! We managed to fish him out. He didn't use the net. That's what I'm always terrified of with the rev with the ready aria the ready aria. You never know if they're just gonna go net heavy or if they're gonna go attack heavy. If they go attack heavy, they're not a great class. Like seriously, they're not an amazing class if they just go in and attack normally. But if they throw the net and then they come after you, it's basically an auto loss. And so I'm always paranoid about fighting them. 
While obtaining herbs at the apothecary, you spot the magistrate's medicus. You recognize the tinctures that he asked for. They are to treat a flesh-eating venereal disease. Making eye contact with you, he fearfully bids you good day and makes for the exit in a hurry. Um, say nothing. Doesn't matter. Somewhere the magistrate's genitals burn, and that fact has brought sunshine and happiness to your day. Perhaps this information will be useful someday. Yeah, I was gonna say, you can give the rumor to somebody if you want to. You can sell it to him, if you really desire to do so. Agreed. Yeah, so long as I've got the wine to do it, keep, keep his cellar stocked. I mean, I'm sending him, like, dozens and dozens of barrels. Uh, Gaius, wow, that's a tough fight right there. That's a really nasty fight for almost no pay. What I would do is I would rework the pit fights to look at the comparative levels of the characters and then pay you based on that. Uh, pit fights, as of right now, some of them just don't pay. Where it's, Maybe that's a part of the metagame that they want you to develop, though, is you kind of look at it and you're like, uh, nah, I don't think I will. I don't think I will walk into that giant shit sandwich, take a dive, and open my mouth. Nah, I think I'm solid on it. I think I'm good. Uh, deep breathing's done. We got grip technique. I'm going to go for evasive roll because I never get to use it. And what was the key? Hold on a second. Okay, my surrender key is G. I almost never get a chance to surrender. But if it happens, or I've got like 4 HP left and I'm not confident I can land the last hit or the enemy's hitting harder than whatever my... We can do a grain shelter, a water well. Yeah, do the apothecary first. It takes 30 days, so it's going to be a while before he finishes that off. But it will be worth it in the long term. It'll definitely be worth it in the long term. We haven't picked up any cards in a while, surprisingly enough. What's going on with this pit fight? Oh, he's doable. Yeah. I think we could handle that. Especially if we send in polio. I think polio can handle this dude. Uh, we don't know what his stats are, but he's got 125 health. So my hope would be that we can just mash through him real quick. And get ourselves a nice free victory here. Yeah, I think combat's been slowed down by like 10%. I don't know, I can't promise it. It feels slower to me. It feels way slower, whereas before you'd run in and you'd be like, swipe, 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 dead. It's still swipe, swipe, dead, but it feels like when you click, there, the swipe takes a little longer and like you've got a little bit more time to recognize what's happening and set a strategy in motion. The doctor is great, by the way. As you can see, it allows you to just keep healing while you're training without having to worry about it. Rolling attack is pretty good, too. It allows you to get those freebie hits off, and I think you've got limited iframes when you go through. If you're not familiar with pixel art games or 2D games or anything that uses, like, cartoony framed artwork, uh, basically an iframe is a frame in the animation that you are immune. Like, you can't be hurt during that frame. Ooh, Constantius. That dude's badass as hell. He's got a net, though, which makes me nervous. I'm not in the market of losing like a gladiator. Apparently, I accidentally swapped him over there. Uh, the next little batch. Grant him his freedom. What I'll do is I'll start putting these guys in just in case. You do this because at the end of the game what happens is you get betrayed. And all the gladiators you freed during the course of your adventure will come to help you. And so if you equip them with gear and stuff before that happens, you'll actually have a big old... You'll have a bunch of warriors rush in to try to save you when the betrayal takes place. Whereas last time I did it, I was basically on my own with like a thousand naked guys. And so we couldn't get the job done. Couldn't get the job done, not even with a thousand naked guys. Not even with a thousand naked guys. Wow. 42, 32, 83 damage. Whew. My shield only blocks like 55. I may walk on this one. My shield will absorb 102. That does mean I can eat his hit. I'm at 23-23. He's got a 32 and a 42, though. I'm going to reject it. I just, I can't do that right now. That's a fight that just, I can't do it. Like, it's a fight that's too risky. I can't lose a champion on a fight like that. Gotta try and work him back up to proud because turning down the fight is going to make him a little bit salty. That could have been a big paycheck for us, but it's just like the, the logic of the situation wasn't there for me. Uh, Vintner ain't doing shit right now. Magistrate's temperament's about as high as it's going to get. So you know what? Goodbye, Vintner. And now I will hire... You know, I've never done the Hara Specs, so let's do the Hara Specs. I don't even know what she does. I know a Hara Specs is somebody that reads the future with the guts of animals. 
Like, they read entrails, basically. Uh, magistrate death wish. Sacrifice some resources to the gods to see the magistrate dead. I can increase his favor. I can curse my opponent. HP. Curse my opponent in his fighting proficiency. We'll do that. Holy shit. Yeah, lower his fighting proficiency. Hell yeah. I want this dude to suck in my next fight. Make it happen. We can go with low stance. Throw a weapon. Attack shuffle. I'm going to go with critical strike so we can fish out those one shots. And then also curse our opponent's HP. You get wind of a plot to assassinate the magistrate. I warn him. The magistrate appreciates your concern but tells you he has had death threats almost weekly since taking office. Nothing comes of the plot to kill him. Okay. Does that work in pit fights too? Oh, look at that. It does. It knocks his health off a little bit. Well, shit, yeah. Send our boy in there to get some more XP. Use this guy as a farming opportunity. Apparently, his fight proficiency would be a lot lower, too. Although, I'm going to burn through cash pretty quick, cursing the shit out of my enemies like this. God, fight proficiency zero. He just stood there and let me kill him. I expected to eat at least one hit right there because what I did was kind of risky. I double struck. I almost never double strike if I can help it. Let's go ahead and curse our next opponent's fighting proficiency. That was great. Keep that shit locked down. Keep our opponents just unable to fight us. Hell yeah. How's your stats doing? Pretty good. Shit, at that proficiency level, I could start to send in some of the lower level guys. Not bad. Might actually even consider it. So he's got decent gear. Let's get you lined up with something that'll actually allow you to stand in combat for more than a few seconds without getting choked out. There we go. Looking pretty good. Six days till our next fight. We can't attend a pit fight right now. His proficiency will be down. Uh, he's got 14 victories in the arena. Let's send one of the lower level guys in. His fight proficiency should be cursed. So I'm thinking he might be able to hack his way through him, maybe. Could be wrong. Like if his... Oh, shit. I lost my weapon. There we go. Yeah, his fight proficiency does seem to be somewhat half-acid. It definitely looks like it nerfs their ability to fight you by a lot. So as a strategy, you know how I said it was difficult to bounce back? It looks like the Haru Specs might be the way around that. It looks like the Haru Specs might be the person you want to look into. Oh, Ludus is over capacity. Grant him his freedom. Grant freedom. You are now a free man. Looks good to me. Just make sure I give everybody a blade of some kind before I grant them freedom. Although I'm not even going to finish this playthrough. I mean, that's the problem. I, I do think a save system needs to be implemented. As far as I understand, the developer on the forum said something about implementing a save system would compromise a couple of different key systems that he has in place right now. And so he's working on getting the game bug free. And then after that, he's going to put in the save system. Uh, if people still feel like it's necessary. I forgot to curse my enemies. Shit. And this is for the important fight, too, against Faustus, who is a Red Arius. He's got 31 attack, 31 agility. Uh, he hits pretty hard. You know what? Send in polio. Whatever. We're going to take a risk on this one. I'm going to take a risk, and I'm going to live with the results. Let's do this thing. I don't want to walk away from this fight because it's worth too much money. I sincerely hope he doesn't net me, though. If he nets me, I just... Ooh, got him. Very good. Cool. Sounds good to me. 365 coin, a nice little lineup. Poison Blade is in here. By the way, I'm not playing on the lowest difficulty setting anymore. I reset it after the most recent patch. I'm going to give him Poison Blade. Defensive priority, don't worry about it. Armor stewardship, I just want cash for that. And that puts us up to 843, which is all right. Uh, our opponent is cursed. Increase my favor with the Magistrate. That's kind of expensive, though. Oh, it gets more expensive every time you do it. So that's not going to be like a long-term viable option unless you're just winning over and over and over again. Ooh, a Mermelo with a Zvi, huh? That's always tempting because the Zvi Hander guys, they one-shot you if they hit you. But if they get blocked consistently, it's like you just walk all over them and there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, I'll send in the king. Let's see what's going on with that. He's never fought anybody with a two-hander before, so I figured it'd be a good experience for him. 
teach him a lesson. Yep. He learned that lesson pretty quickly. Learned that he's reached that point. Polio is at that point where basically he's indestructible. And so I'll start thinking about putting him into some of the nastier fights and seeing what he can get away with. We'll start working on him next. I'd like to get him up to like, how many battles does he have? 12? Yeah, these two, I'd like to see them get up to about six battles before I do anything else. Uh, give him better equipment, please. Looks good to me. And then I'm not going to curse the next horror specs. Actually, yeah, I will. I'm going to curse my opponent's fighting proficiency for the next pit fight so that I can start sending in Lucius and getting him a few more battles in because I'd like him to be level up. We actually got a good stable going right now. This is pretty rare for me. I, I normally don't have a stable like this going into fights, and so I am more than willing to take chances at this point. Uh, Lucius could die here. Uh, it depends on how improficient the enemy ends up. Hopefully he ends up just like a giant cavalcade of ineptitude, like tripping over his own sandals and shit. Oh, it didn't happen that way. Oh my god, 150 damage. Fight proficiency, what happened? Holy shit. The curse didn't work. The curse didn't work, Harspex. We're gonna need to have a long conversation about how the curse did not work, Harspex. Alright? We're gonna have to talk about this. We're gonna have to have discussions. And get my money back here. God, I spent so much money on that guy too. Brutal! Horror uh, Oh my god, it gets so expensive. Alright, she's not even useful anymore, so we're going to fire her. Horror you are no longer useful to me due to monetary cost. Uh, what other people can I get? I can get the educator. Might not be bad. Uh, the favor we've already done. The agriculture. I'm going to go with the Securitos. I can afford it right now. Might as well. Let's go prayer to Mercury to occasionally upgrade a gladiator weapon. Because that sounds super awesome. Uh, grip technique so I don't drop my weapons no mo. A detachment of Pompey's soldiers come across your villa, but they are without a commander. You think they might be deserters. Uh, yeah, send a message to the legate. I will give them respite, but I will secretly send a message to the legate. Before any of your wine has been touched, the legate descends on your villa, surrounding it with his men. The cowardly soldiers surrender, some of them sobbing uncontrollably. They probably should have just taken your stuff and been on their way, idiots. The legate is pleased for the help. He appears to be a hero. Nice. Whatever helps him out with his job makes me happy, man. Perfect. And we're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Domina. I will see you in tomorrow's episode, or the next episode, whatever. I appreciate you stopping on in. Bye-bye, everybody.